Hello and welcome to Infinity. In a previous video we talked about layers and uh, how you can have two layers and have a bit of both layers uh, shown in the final picture. Uh, I'm just going to go through a little bit of that and then show you can do it a different way which is with masks. So imagine this here is a just a flat piece of cardboard or say plastic covered in colour blue. Then what we could do if we put a, another layer of plastic above it, it might have had red originally in but we've erased half of that red so you can see through the plastic. What you see on the top of it, above it, is a combination of the two because you can see as you look down through this because we've got a down arrow coming down, this is where we look and we see the red because we're seeing that but when we look downward here we look see through the transparency because we removed the red and see the blue underneath. We can do that in a different way and start off again with our blue square of plastic laying down the table and then above that we put the red but now what we do we put another different type of layer and this type of layer is called a mask. And we put that, and we put it associated next to the red. So it's not really above it, it's kind of connected to it. And what it's got in it is black and white. And when it's got black and white, black makes things transparent, so you can see through to the bottom, whereas white keeps what you've got here already. And so what in fact you see is this. So the black says don't take it from this layer, look below. The white says do take it from this layer. So we see again this half blue, half red image. And this is the mask that controls it. We'll see later how important that is, how useful it is. Just another thing that to cover with this is when we've got a, another square here, what we can do with layers is put a layer again here where this is red, but now instead of being hard red and then nothing, you can sort of gradient it off from red here to fairly transparent so that what you see on the top is a sort of fade from the red through to the blue as you get more and more transparent. You can do the same thing with a mask. And that is with the shades of grey with a mask. So what you get is the bottom layer, again like this, and the red layer on top. But now the mask you connect up to this one here goes from white to black. It's not transparent, it's white to black. So the white says you can have red, you see the current layer, black sort of pokes through to see the layer underneath and so what you actually see is this where you're seeing through to the blue here and the white keeps it up here. Let's have a look at this in reality. So here we've got a very very simple red layer here and underneath it is a blue layer. If we turn off the red layer, there we go, there's the blue layer. And we turn the layer, red layer back on. And now what we can do is we can put a mask on here. And the normal way we can do it is just down here, this one says mask layer. You can also say, do it um, up here with layer and new mask layer. And what that does, that associates this mask with this. So it's as a child layer underneath it here. And that's so it's, it says you, you can have masks by themselves at the top level but normally they are connected with a layer already. And remember with this we can paint in black and white and that white keeps things so it starts off with white. Because it started off white that means you're going to get all of the red. But if I go over here and pick a paintbrush and I'm going to paint in black on this you can see what happens as I go through here. I make the, this a little bit bigger. I am poking effectively a hole through the red to the blue underneath. 
Now the magic of the mask is I can use this to undo it. So if I switch colours now, and I paint in white, then I can now bring back the red by painting on top of the blue. There we go, and see the little bit fade at the edge, so I can clean it all up. So that's the real thing about masks, is you can go one way and the other way. And so it, it's more controllable, you can go, oh, not quite a little bit this, take a little bit off and edit it a lot better. And this is all about photo editing. So let's have a look at this with the real picture. Here we go, here's a picture, and just, just say, we'll right click and duplicate this, so we've got another layer on top. I'm going to just go down to adjustments here and go to black and white. I'll just merge that so I've got a black and white layer on the top and at the bottom I've got a colour layer. So now what I could do with this is I could go over here and get the erase brush and I can literally poke a hole in the top one. This is called popping and so I can see the bottom one underneath like that. And that looks kind of okay, but if you look around the edge here, let's go in a little bit closer, you can see I've actually overshot here. I've got, so I'm getting some of the green behind. And you can see in these areas here, this is, you can see the green. I can't get that back. So let's go back a little bit and go back to the black and white here and get the full picture again. Now what I'll do is add a mask. And let's just use this one down here. So I click on mask layer and it appears on here. I can click on that to open it up here. Now what I can do is actually be the mask, by the way, here now has appeared uh, in black. No, it's white. The white is white. It started, it looked black for a moment. It's actually white. So I want to get the, the black here. Get an ordinary paintbrush now. This is not a ray, it's just a paintbrush. And now if I paint here and I switch this to black, that's better. Now here you go, you can see with the preview here that when I paint on this, I'm going to get the a slight poking a hole through, same effect. But also like with the other effect, I'm getting this around the edge, I'm getting the green showing through. But what I can do now is I can switch this to white, I can make my brush smaller with left square bracket. I can now go in around here and remove that green. I can make the brush smaller if I want to do to get into other things. I can go all the way around like that. There we go, and it's just and so I can clean things up a lot better. I can even sort of do it fairly quickly at this sort of level, if I can see where the green is, it's certainly going to make it better than it was before. If I want to see the mask itself, all I need to do is go over the mask, hold it over the mask, over the little the square there, not over the name, over there, hold down the Alt key and click that and now I can see the mask. So this is the area. And I can use this as well actually to, to clean things up a bit. So I'm painting white around here. There's a bit of black, so there might get a little bit of green coming through. So I can just go around and I know I need to get rid of this stuff. So I can go around and do this. And then in the middle, it should be fully black. So I can switch this and I can make that completely black. So I get all the color coming through. So you can use this to make a, an extra correction and so on. And then click back up here again and there we go we see the the color pop through so that basically is what masks are and how you use them it's a bit more to masks than that and we're going to cover a lot more in other videos so i hope you like that and thank you very much for watching bye for now